Okay, and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, The Boys Presents Diabolical. This is probably going to be a, a much shorter video. There's uh, not a whole lot to say about this show as a whole, but uh, that's alright. Uh, let's just get into it. Um, this show is the perfect time killer. Honestly, uh, it's really short. Each episode is only 10 minutes. Well, I, it's an anthology series. And actually, I don't know if you've seen uh, Star Wars Visions, but it's a lot like that, except just slightly better. Uh, I'm not a fan of Star Wars Visions. That's neither here nor there. But um, yeah, this show is pretty short. I mean, each episode's about 10 minutes. Um, it's basically all comedy episodes too none of, as far as i know none of none of these episodes are canon they're all just like one off comedy bi uh comedy shorts uh and for you to kill some time basically i mean the two funniest episodes were episode 2 and 5 episode 2 is the one created by Justin Roiland who did Rick and Morty so <laughs> obviously that one's going to be more hilarious than all the other ones I won't, that one was pretty funny. It was just a bunch of rejected soups fucking killing their parents <laughs> because they ended up becoming hideous monsters. <laughs> like the like the guy with boobs for a face. <laughs> and uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, or the the guy with the moon box for a head. And they all die basically at the end of the episode. It's just, that, that one's funny. Then there's the Kawaii anime episode for episode 5 where... Um, Whatever, the girl, the kawaii girl, drinks uh, some bakgu, and then literally shits out a sentient turd, and now is able to control other turds. So, you know, if you're looking for, you know, something deep, not that the boys is incredibly deep anyway, uh, don't watch this show, I guess. If This show is really just about comedy, and it has that stapled, you know, boys Gore though, that's still there. Lots of gore, lots of heads exploding, uh, lots of blood, lots of like guts ripping out of people's bodies, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's enjoyable to, to watch when you you know you have like ten minutes of free time. Oh shit, I gotta get to work. Uh, you know, not for another thirty minutes. I'll watch you know two episodes and then I'll get ready. You know, that that's what the show's about. Honest, I, I don't even know why they make it. Uh, Amazon. I'm pretty, the last episode is, like, the most maybe canon of, of the show, because it goes into, like, Homelander's backstory, which I'm not privy to, because I've only read some of the comics, so I have no idea of, I, again, I have no idea if any of this is really canon. I know the other stuff is, and episode 8 might be. That's, um, so if you're, like, a huge boys fan, you should watch that episode. It's also, like, the episode that's closest to the art style of Invincible, which Invincible fucking blew up. Hugely, when it came out uh, last year, understandable. Invincible is fucking great. Really, I think this is just like some sort of test subject to uh, to make more uh, animated shows like The Boys. You know, from different sorts of comics that aren't as popular. Uh, unless, like Invincible wasn't. I I had never heard of Invincible until you know the show. So maybe the, this might be some sort of test run. For some other shows, or maybe they, they don't want to do a live-action The Boys anymore. Maybe this is a test run for that as well. well who, who knows? I have no idea why this even came out. But, um, whatever, that's it. Um, you know, watch the show if you like. You know, don't. Yeah, I don't think it doesn't really matter in hindsight. The Boys Season 3 is coming out very soon. I will be watching that. I will be reviewing that. Because I have some problems with uh, the first two seasons. But, uh, okay, I think that's it. Uh, guys have a good day. See ya.